Okay, we've got our second round of exercises for the week. We're going to build on. So we, we've, we've worked on building those, um, those squeezers. So we're squeezing the pelvic floor. We're now going to just add in a couple of extra exercises. So we're looking at um, working those muscles around the pelvic floor. So we're going to be looking at our thighs, our glutes, our abdominals, so our tummy muscles front and back and our lower back muscles as well. So if you have an excessively, like a bit of a curve on your spine, then you might want to get a towel and just roll a towel and put that underneath your curve of your spine. And that might help you to lay a little bit flatter. Um, you could try it, see how it felt. Um, you don't necessarily need it. Dep it really does depend. I haven't got a particularly arched back, but if you have, and what I mean is your lumbar curve, so it's that. So if you were had more of a pronounced curve like that, then you might find that you need to have just something under that back just to make it a little bit more careful and um, comfortable. <laughs> okay, we're going to lay down. And we are going to start with those breaths in. So breathe in through the mouth. No, sorry, through the nose. And breathe out. As we breathe out, squeeze those pelvic floor muscles. And as we're laying, um, this is one of the easiest positions to be in for doing those pelvic floor squeezes. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out and squeeze. Good. So you can do as many rounds of breath as you want just to get yourself, get your breathing going, relax yourself, ready. So we are going to start off with those knee drops, just like we did um, in the first session. So we're going to drop that, just drop away that left knee, and then we're going to squeeze that pelvic floor. Bring that knee back, drop that right knee down, squeeze that pelvic floor. Bring that knee back up. Then we're going to drop that knee down again. We're going to squeeze that pelvic floor. So you can do as many of those as you want to. We're going to do two on each side for today's purposes. Good. Then we're going to come up into that tabletop position. So those legs up. And we are going to drop away that left leg and squeeze. Bring that knee fall up. Drop away that right leg and squeeze. Bring that knee up. Let's do the same again on the left. Squeeze. So I'm thinking this time as you drop that leg down, you're going to really feel that around that upper thigh. Squeeze in and then bring those legs down. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to just push those legs away. Just give them an arms above our head. Just have a little stretch. Then we're going to come back, bring those legs up. Let's put our hands on our knees. Just drop those legs out. And then we're going to just circle those knees around. Nice big circles. Okay. You can then repeat. So you could repeat those exercises again. S finishing off with a nice big stretch. And then... Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, and out through the mouth. Okay, and then just bring yourself to sit. So you could do those. So you're going to drop the knees um, one at a time with your feet on the floor. Bring your legs into tabletop, drop the knees one at a time. Squeeze and each time in between. Uh, we're going to hold on to our knees and do some nice circles, big stretch out and do some and and do some breathing. So you can, you know, just do those as many times as you can. Um, you know, and if you need, if you've got any questions, then just let me know. Okay, well done.